Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, walk you through uh, using the Level D Simulations paint kit, the new version. And uh, we're going to paint KLM again, new colors. Um, this is the second time I've recorded this. Unfortunately, the first time it didn't get recorded. So that was a real bummer. Anyways, we're going to be doing this in 10 minute increments. Uh, that way we can be compatible for uh, uh, YouTube later and uh, make it a lot easier for you the users to be able to view it so we'll go ahead we'll go ahead and uh, jump right to it um, what I have loaded here is a photo of the KLM jet that we'll be doing uh, registration number PH-BZ1 or I, I did it again so PHBZI uh, that'll be the registration we'll be painting today and um, have the picture loaded here to show you um, a little thing with door configurations. You have um, big doors where passengers walk in and out are signified by a large A, a capital A. Small doors like this one here are signified by a capital I. And uh, when you have the two overwing emergency exits, they're signified by little I's, like the uh, lowercase I's. Um, so for this one, we're going to need to load the full body kit for AA. I A. So we'll go ahead and go to open and um, this is my reference folder here uh, just kind of give you a rundown. Uh, I have many photos, different angles, close-ups of the tail, things like that underneath to show the uh, registrations under the wings. I made a uh, color bitmap to, for the base colors of the jet. have the European Union flag, the Holland flag, have a uh, vector based uh, EPS file for the KLM logo which is uh, the blue color it's supposed to be and then a uh, vector base EPS file for the Sky Team logo now that KLM belongs to the Sky Team family instead of the old Northwest Alliance so what we'll do is um, go ahead and go to the PSD file folder we're going to look in uh, full body kits and AAIA and uh, ignore these two files those were created earlier We'll go ahead and remove those actually. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's about an hour and a half worth of wasted work this morning. Anyways, well, I won't be too bad about it. We'll go ahead and load the uh, left side. I always paint the left side first. And um, as we got the file loaded, you'll see here um, that I'm using Adobe Photoshop CS4. And uh, what you have is a, uh, a tabbed layout, is how it does it. Uh, earlier version of Photoshop uses Windows. However your version does it, um, it's fine. You know, whatever works for you, whatever you're used to using. Uh, many of the tools are the same in Photoshop. CS4 brings us a couple of extra new tools or new ways to use tools, new ways to access them. Um, over here, I have my uh, mine set up. Uh, I have my history viewable, layers, navigator, then I have the options and tools uh, also loaded and I use the workspace for essentials default which uh, has this layout and my tools uh, locked in on the left side have it slightly minimized to uh, aid in the recording uh, of this tutorial to kind of help us out here uh, keep the file size down on the video so it'd be normally it's full screen but right now it's not but um give you a rundown of our windows over here uh, we have the navigator which basically allows you to zoom in on the photo uh, you can look at it hundred percent or you can zoom back out to 50 which is what I usually stick at unless I'm painting detail um, you have your histogram we don't use really uh, info just gives you info about the color that you're holding your cursor over um, next uh, window down there's three total windows here next one down is your history basically it keeps a tab of your history anything you do in Photoshop goes into here so you can easily step back you know go back a few steps if you mess something up um, actions I'm not gonna go into actions you know I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm not really here to teach you how to use Photoshop I'm just here to teach you how to use our paint kit really uh, you can there's many good tutorials on actions on YouTube and the internet uh, below that is the uh, most frequently used window will be our layers window it has all the many different layers uh, associated 
here for our paint kit. Then you have the channels tab, which shows your uh, red, green, blue layer. Then you can singleize red, green, and blue, or just turn RGB back on. Then you have your pass, which we won't be using that. Uh, mostly today, um, throughout this tutorial, we're going to be using layers, history, and navigator. Actually, that's all we'll be using. And then over here is my uh, character tools. That's for if I'm going to be um, doing any tech typing on here, which I will be later. Uh, this is how we'll edit our text a little bit quicker than having to highlight it every time. I believe this is, um, yeah, it's all contained in one one deal here. And uh, that's it. So, anyways, we have the uh, left side loaded. And if you look at your layers here, you have your background, which is basically the base. It'll be a white base and uh, everything associated with it. Paint here layer is where you'll apply your textures. Because it is located underneath all the other layers, you do not have to do multiply and all that kind of stuff. You can just leave it normal and 100% uh, here uh, as far as the fill layer. Have your uh, door bases, which are the, um, I'll zoom in here, which are exactly that, the bases to every door, your door frames, uh, door details, which is your handles and things like that, ring gutters above the doors. Details is uh, just like the lights and things like that along the fuselage. Uh, APU metal, I added this because it was left out of the original paint kit. That's this part right here. Because uh, before, when you would paint the uh, paint here layer, it would paint over that, and then you wouldn't have an APU exhaust. So now it's over top of your paint layer, and it'll always be there. Uh, details too. I made this. It's a uh, it's a few extra lights and things like that. Some things you may want to multiply, you know, to blend it with the paint a little better. Uh, here's your lines. Your lines light. Your lines dark. The rivets. There are rivets in this paint kit took a very long time to do so you're welcome uh, more lines for the body metal edge is the uh, metal edge of the tail <clears throat> windows I have uh, got rid of all the shades and blah 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 frames and just put it as windows then you have your blank windows the little blanked out ones horizontal stabilizer shadow is what it is is what it says it is rather uh, your wing root this is where the wing actually connects to the model kind of give you a reference on uh, the center of your wing and everything uh, and then one two three four five different layers worth of shadow you know leave all that alone unless you really want to mess with it uh, you have your dirt on here the dirt is set up to uh, to fit a uh, the other door and window configs so as of right now you can go ahead and just unselect your dirt as long as you're using this door config unless you go through and just make your own dirt or adjust the windows and stuff like that uh, under mask this is just uh, some more coloring have your base mask which adds more definition and uh, depth to the fuselage have your shine layer which is uh, you'll see it once we get paint on there it's actually it kind of makes the you know look like the uh, sun shining on the jet a little bit have your alignment marks which are the little red crosses have your outline which hides all the ugly stuff and then you have your title which I did that today actually I like that anyways so that is basically how the paint kit is laid out it's the same for the left and right side the right side a few of the things are named a little different but it's all the same in the end exactly the same so uh, I'll go ahead and stop this one here and because uh, we're running up on 10 minutes and we'll continue again uh, with part two